Alright guys, uh, we do apologize for the long wait, but uh, we're back for a couple new videos here. I'll get posted up today. But uh, any whom, any who, I guess we're going to just uh, show you my amplifier I've been building. This is a 2813 box that I've been working on for uh, way too long. I think like five or six months now. But uh, yeah, we got her all painted up and pretty much done. Uh, so we'll start off with the power supply here. It, this is not done. So don't tell me uh, my caps aren't bolted in or I don't got it wired right because I know this. Just uh, We finished the box up here just a little while ago. And uh, first thing I did was buy a couple of little fuse holders. Then I got all my parts in here and uh, got them all wired up last night. Try to explain it real quick here. Basically, just uh, you'll be running off 220 right there. Still got a wire a plug in here somewhere because, of course, I do not have one. Got one in the garage though, so we're just gonna splice off that I think. But uh, there's a 220 in. Comes down right to a little rubber grommet in the back comes in goes to a little terminal strip right there and your green wire just comes up and uh, should be grounded but it's not you know you know just bolts to your case or whatever um, two orange ones come up straight to your fuse holders then they just kind of uh, run over to the switch it's a big heavy 220 switch for throwing the power on. Uh, I don't know where the wires are at, right here. These two wires here just come right up from uh, the relay and they'll go in the bottom of the switch here. But they go straight down to that big old honking relay right there. It's kind of hard to see, but they go down to that terminal on the side. There's two of them, and it just basically loops up with a little piece of wire, and that goes to your first Connor, uh, relay input. And then basically, it just hits your uh, your relay and engages it, and the 220 travels straight through the contacts. Comes up through these uh, big heavy wires here, straight into your primary input in the transformer in case you're wondering what that is it's uh... 12 uh... 1250 on the secondary and that's what this will go to right here this wire it'll go to i believe this one it says in the side i can't really see it though but i believe there is it goes here and here or here and here i'll have to check but uh, that's where that goes. This one here, and I don't have the other one hooked up. That'll come right through here, straight through this little uh, support wall. Straight to my little bank of diodes. They're just ran in the series. And that taps in directly in the middle on the sixth one. There's 12 of them. Then I believe uh, this will be your negative side out. High voltage. Uh, negative out which will go down to a cap you know one of them I don't know it doesn't really matter it'll probably just run like this zigzag and this will be your positive lead you see I got my nice little strain relief things I put on there so they don't uh, rip off but they'll go in over here on one of the caps too and then they'll just be all ran the series and they'll be shunted together with little resistors. I think it's uh, 20,000 ohm, 10 watt. I still got to get them. Then pretty much you just you'll have your high voltage running straight up through here with a piece of high voltage wire just like that. And it'll come up to here be on your uh, panel with a little high voltage milling. For the positive and the negative it'll just be a BNC connector. And it'll just run straight off the other end of your caps. Over here doesn't really really doesn't really matter. It's whatever way you wire them. But uh, there's the power supply. It's still kind of cobbled together. 
we have, we're going to finish that up pretty quick here, but this is the uh, RF deck. Got that all done pretty much. The chassis is done. We just got to do some work on the inside here. Right up in this section here. You can see I got all the basic wiring kind of laid out, but it's not even close to being done yet. Pretty much it's just uh, your 220 comes in right here. Jumps over to a to a fuse folder right there and then it comes down to a terminal strip right here that little guy then it powers this 12 volt transformer comes over here to uh, your filament transformer powers that and it also branches off and powers the fan when you flick the uh, toggle switch on the on switch but uh, this little 12 volt guy here comes to a little rectifier right there, a little black thing. And then it goes to your fuse. Then it runs over to right here to this capacitor. Comes over to your switch for the lights. That's your um, on and off switch, and this is a standby here. Then it runs around to the relay. And basically when the thing's on, you got power coming to it, you just you'll short this little BNC out here and it'll key your key your relay. I'm not sure if uh cord will reach here, but I'll plug this thing in and I'll show you how it works. Of course it doesn't really reach, but uh well, I guess it does. But there is uh, the standby light on. That's on for the standby. And it's off. That light doesn't work. I burned it out because it's an 8 volt bulb and there's like 13 volts coming in this thing. 12 or 13. So that got uh, fried pretty quickly. Yeah, we got the fan going. Uh, everything's working nice. You know, so uh, yeah, there's the power supply. And there's our F deck. Show you one of these cute little tubes I'll be using here. So I'm sure half of you don't even know what I'm talking about here. You probably haven't seen the last video, but uh, like I said, it's two 813s ran in grounded grid with about 4,000 volts in the plate. That's what I'm going to be running. And everything is built heavy duty as hell. That power supply there could probably run a pair of 3500Zs easily but there is an 813 right there that's a sexy looking tube